Hello and welcome to the Real Magic Review vlog. Right, so this is to do a slightly more informal thing because I've had a lot of emails asking me uh, things that I, I don't want really to do with the reviews but more to do with the magic I do and all that kind of stuff. So I think it'd be quite nice to do a vlog. Um, please do give me feedback if you're not interested in your likes to see this load of old bollocks. Um, do that. But but the one thing I've been asked about is, is my book. So when, when I usually shoot the reviews, um, I, people and if you're anything like me you check out the books right so every time I go to someone's house I'm just all over their books and DVDs and everything and not, when they're talking to me I'll kind of be kind of looking out one eye about what you know what books they've got and as soon as they go off I'm sort of rifling through their books nothing else nothing bleak but um so I thought and a few people have said you know can you can you take them a little tour of your collection and, and do a kind of mini review so I'm going to do that now the first thing uh by the way I'm not just going to do all that on this this video I'm going to I'm going to do some yeah, bit by bit, but the first thing I've noticed here, which ho horrifies me, and this is because I haven't been in this office very long, it's like a studio, and look at that, look, I've got, and some of you will just shudder at this, I've got the, the, the card course books, like, <laughs> so the one, honestly, it, it, I, I don't know how I've done this, because this is the, my, horrific for me, I've got four college, card college books there and one there, now look, I've even, look, so there's number one, and it goes two, three, four, five. Now, that, to me, is horrific. And I know some of you will be there going, what are you worried about? Some of you will be there going, oh, my God. Even even something like this, see, that that does my head in. Um, but, you know, that's what makes us do what we do in it. So, so first of all, live for your entertainment, I'm going to sort that out because that's just horrific. And this will be very rough and ready, by the way. This. So, um so first of all, just very quickly, I'm going to talk about the, the card college books, all right? Now, we've got these, I mean, God, the books of wonder, that's a whole other thing. Vernon Book of Magic, slow down. I mean, this, that's a career right there, right? That, that is a career, probably even two of these books. Now, Roberto Jobby's card college is when they came out, I literally cover to cover them. I read them cover to cover each one and worked through it like a course. And man, that... That's all you need. And I know people talk about the Royal Road to Car Magic. It's great. All that. I love it. But you know, that's where I started, etc. But, you know, if you've got the money and it's an investment, you know, I've seen on the forums what's the, what's the card book that I should get. No question. Don't, don't, no, don't look anywhere else. Like that, that's all you need. Now, of course, it's an investment, all five of them. And if you are a th right at the beginning, then go for uh, Card College One and uh, Perfect... Uh, Perfect accompaniment for Steve Faulkner's car magic course, of course, dot com, where you learn how to hold the deck of cards, all that kind of stuff. But, um, but I can't take it. I mean, this is just masterful. So, so that's what I'll talk about in here. Card College. He starts off, literally breaks it down, really basic. Each section move that you do, he's got like a, a, a load of moves on, a, a load of tricks to do with that move, and it's it's a way you will become a card. I mean, that's where where I started, and pretty much where I constantly go back to as well. Um, and here you've got the Tommy Wonders Books of Wonder for most, most advanced exact. These were, I actually ended up buying the Books of Wonder before that. Now the Books of Wonder, if you're a beginner, are amaz amazing for theory. The tricks in it I didn't do as a beginner because they're a little too advanced, but that doesn't take away from them. It, I just found that I, went, I kind of needed to go back and didn't get ahead of myself. But if you want a good read, Books of Wonder, uh, Enchantments, Wesley James is w w more geeky. You know, don't, it, again, if, you, if you're early on in your journey, Save that one for later. Um, but th this, I mean, there's, there's just no, I mean, I do the cups and balls, and the cups and balls has got me all over the world as a street performer and everything. And I learned the cups and balls from this book. Um, and don't, look, my friend Pete Waddell talked, I saw him do it for years on the street. So obviously I knew the routine from watching him do it. But I actually learned it, you know, when you sit down and you learn it properly from this book and then went on state. I, I was on a cruise ship, stuck on a cruise ship, and I, I needed another 20 minutes of material. So I learned this on the cruise ship and then took it on stage and performed it. To be honest, it was a bit shit, but I got away with it. And 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 you've got that, you've got Lincoln Rings in there. I'm, actually, I'm just looking at a picture and saying things, but um, it is, again, another career in that book, really. So so there's a lot of new stuff coming back, but man, if you, if you like your books, and if you don't, I, Give it a go. You get better at reading magic books, right? It's not something that you, 
you know, you, you've, it's hard, first of all. You, you kind of get, it's a bit like recipe books, you know, if you cook, you, first of all, you're kind of looking at every word and kind of doing it exactly. And when you get better at reading magic books, it, get, it becomes more fluid and you do learn differently. I'm not saying it's better, I mean, I think it is, but some, I do also learn off DVDs, look. There you go, there's loud down there as well. Um, but, you know, if you, can, if you can get yourself to having the Vernon Book of Magic and the Card College books, boom. So it's what you need, isn't it? So uh, there you go. I'm not going to go on about it because I know, you know, you only got 28, 28 minutes on, on these books. But uh, any questions, any comments, do comment and I'll make, I can make videos based on what, you know, what you want. Because this was a, someone said to me, can you take a, as a little tour of your book? So there you go. That's my first shelf. Not in order at all, which is horrific, but at least there's a kind of size thing going on here. And then, uh, and there you got a little bit more advanced. And Slidini, you know, if you're into misdirection. This annotated magic of Slidini is brilliant, but you know, Slidini is Slidini, and you see people trying to be Slidini, and it's very, he had a very idiosyncratic style, which is, uh, which means basically you can't be him. So you can learn the, the, the misdirection techniques from it, but you have to do things in your own way, which is the same with all of this stuff. But there you go, there's the first little quadrant of my bookshelf, um, and there's the first vlog. So it's my little studio here where I record all the stuff in Sheffield and um, yeah so do comment do comment share and um, ask me any questions and I will make videos in answer to questions and you might as well like and subscribe might as well and um, that makes me feel better about my life and also uh, go and see cardmagiccourse.com which I've just rebuilt and I'm continuing to rebuild that's why it's so cheap at the moment it's like 9.99 a month for like everything I know with a deck of cards and I'm sharing you know, how to become a professional magician. I'm sharing everything, you know, I'm 45. I might die in 20 years and I might die in 10, I might die tomorrow. You never know. So there's no point in take, taking it with me, is there? So I might as well share it. And isn't the internet a joyous place to do that? So cardmagiccourse.com, comment. If you think this is a load of shit, you're not interested, say that as well. You might as well. Uh, have a good one. Cheers.